What do Simpsons Jeopardy, an exercise ball, and Vernonopoly have in common? They're all part of Enderby's annual Santa's Workshop. People bring in donations and everything that they bring in either gets washed, cleaned, tested. The items are then priced and packaged, ranging anywhere from 25 cents to five bucks. And then the kids in the community get to put on their Santa caps for their own exclusive shopping spree. When you see these kids come into Santa's workshop with their little lists in their hands and their money in the other hand and, and you get to watch them make their own decisions and, and see how they budget with their money and you get to, it's a kind of a learning experience for the kids. It gives the children a chance to feel accomplished that they can come and buy gifts for their parents or their siblings without the help of their parents and everything gets wrapped so it truly is a surprise for the children and for the people that they're buying their gifts for. I think every kid needs to be able to have the joy of giving at Christmas and this is a real great way to do that. This is our jewelry area. We have a young lady that comes And all money raised from Santa's workshop is then donated back to local charities. Last year we raised, we provided uh, I think $1,200 to the food bank, another $1,200 to the Enderby Resource Centre. Also another $500 was donated to local school lunch programs as well as giving the remaining items to the local women's shelter. Oh, I love it. I love the idea that the, um, the needy in the community are being served by this. Enderby's Santa's workshop began in 1996 and has evolved into a true community tradition, bringing in dozens of volunteers. They even have their own Mr. Fix-It. My role is to take baskets full of broken or uh, non-functional things home and figure out why they're broken and why they're non-functional and fix them and bring them back. The people who donate the gifts to, the people who volunteer here to, the parents who bring their kids. Couldn't do it without community. And shopping for recycled gifts makes Santa's workshop environmentally friendly. And also, each gift comes with its own story. There's something special about getting things from people. There's a woman whose mother died and she had some beautiful crystal items that she donated to the workshop. She saved them for us specifically so that she could know that her mother was putting smiles on people's faces even though she wasn't here. The kids only shopping spree runs Friday, December 6th and Saturday, December 7th. And due to an influx of donations, there'll also be a seniors, teen and adult shopping spree. From Ender B for Go Okanagan, I'm Kevin Chirac.